basically, Hollywood is who you know, right? I uh, got very popular as a, the new breed of photographer because I had just come out of uh, London with a terrific portfolio. And um, one of the people I met at, uh, as I first got there was Madonna's uh, manager. His name uh, was Freddie DeMann. Very big, big name. And I was fortunate enough to stumble on uh, the top guy at the time. He was like one of the, I would say maybe the top manager, agent, publicist, all of that combined. Freddie was managing Michael, Michael Jackson at the time. And it was just like, you know, everything kind of goes, it, everything is timing where you are at the time, whatever. I happened to walk in his office. Actually, Madonna was there as well. And uh, she said she had heard about me also. And, and I, she said that to Freddie, and I guess all of that helped, you know. And he said, uh, well, I've heard, you know, your reputation. And uh, we have this album coming up of, uh, of Michael Jackson, and uh, we're looking for a photographer. Now we've got, I must tell you, he said, we've got three in mind you and two other are going to basically be auditioning well i i i found that interesting because i i really don't like auditioning i i to me it 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 makes me feel like i uh need it and i don't like to feel that but i i said yeah that's fine you know whatever he said that uh, michael wanted to meet me he wanted to see uh, my portfolio, of course. So I said, yeah, that's fine. No problem. So anyway, we set up a time. He came over the studio. I, it was, you know, what I was very surprised about is, I mean, he was a big name at, uh, during Off the Wall, that album, but of course, nowhere near he is today. But he actually came to the studio uh, on his own. There was a little knock uh, on the door and, and there was Michael. And so we went upstairs to my loft and, uh, and I showed him my portfolio and, um, and he only, they, they told me he was only going to be there for, oh, maybe, uh, 45 minutes. He wound up staying a couple of hours, uh, because we actually got on really well. We got into some other things that was of interest to him. So, uh, that was our meeting. He left and he seemed like he was happy or whatever. Like two days later, I got a call to meet Michael at his recording studio, Beverly Boulevard. It's right across from CBS. There's a, a very popular recording studio, and that's where Michael was doing Thriller. So I met with him, and he said uh, he'd like me to shoot his album. 